are already 36 specific remedies prescribed by the Justice Department to reform LMPD. And they're now all sitting on Craig Greenberg's desk. Just 66 days on the job, Craig Greenberg inherits a mess left behind at LMPD. But he does not blame the previous administration or call the Justice Department findings unfair. I looked at it a different way. I looked at, about, at it as this is, this is the Department of Justice s telling our city, telling our country that there were things that happened in our city that are inexcusable, that are unacceptable. And so now how do we move forward? Soon to enter into a consent decree that could easily extend beyond their time in office, I find both Greenberg and his interim police chief keeping both eyes on the future. How confident are you that this behavior is no longer going on? I, I certainly hope it's not. It will not be tolerated. And yeah, I, I certainly hope it's not. What kind of confidence do you have it's not happening? I'm confident. I'm confident in the fact that we have embraced reform and we've embraced the changes that we already have implemented here. But the road to reform may not be a smooth one. The River City Fraternal Order of Police released a statement blaming over a generation of irresponsible political leadership and failed leadership within LMPD. If the experience of other cities holds true, Keeping officers on the job during the reforms will be a challenge, and it sounds like the recruiting message has already been crafted. This is an opportunity to be a part of something special, to be the part of a national model for how police departments reform and improve themselves and focus on continuous improvement. We need officers, but we never want to get into a state, and I've said this before to many of recruit class, that we get into a position where we're desperate. We are not. We want quality individuals to join this agency. Greenberg believes the demands the DOJ places on the city will focus primarily on training. Some of those needs will be addressed in his first budget due in April. Speaking for the rank and file, the FOP calls the Justice Department findings unfair and says the city should not let the report go unchallenged. There will be some negotiations at the, as the city enters into the, the consent decree with the DOJ, but Greenberg could not offer specifics of how the city might push back on Justice Department demands. David Mattingly, Wave News.